week's sort has to do with the final sound that you are hearing in the word. So you're listening for the ending sound. All of our words this week end with the sound k. What's the sound that the words end with? K. Okay. It's k. And the k sound is spelled in different ways. So the sort features are ke, and that would be at the end of the word. It would be just K, or we also have the ending spelled CK. All of these spelling patterns make the K sound. The three words we're going to use to practice are kick, what's the word? Kick. Take, what's the word? Take. And took, what's the word? Took. All three of these words have a K at the end. And it's our job to know how the k sound is spelled. So we have the word took. What's the word? Took. Took would be sorted under just k because the ending sound k is spelled k. We have the word kick. What's the word? Kick. Kick will be sorted under ck. Because the final k sound is spelled CK. The last word we're going to practice for this sort is the word take. What's the word? Take. If you notice, the word take has the long A sound spelled A blank E. But the k sound is at the ending and it spelled, I'm sorry, the k sound is at the end and it is spelled K-E. The E is silent. So we're looking for the spelling pattern C-K, K, or K-E, and all of those spelling patterns match the sound K. This will help you because if you're spelling an unknown word and you know the pattern, you will know how to spell the word. If we're sounding out the word k, i, k, and I know that kick has the sound or the spelling pattern c, k, it will make it easier for me to spell because I know the word will end in c, k.